welcome back. I hope that you've all had a really good week. Um, so this week what we're going to be doing is what is it that they would really like to tell you. So we're going to go into your people's energy. Um, we're going to go into the thoughts that they probably haven't quite communicated to you. Um, or if you're in separation and you want to know what's going through their mind and what they would like to say to you, um, we're going to work with all of your collective energies. So how we work is we put your people's energy into the decks, uh, pull out the strongest mutual energy between you all. So if anything doesn't resonate, just remember it for a later date. The other things I need to tell you is I finally got the website updated. So if you want to go and have a look, it's all new and refurbished and revamped and it's pretty cool. I really like it. Uh, so if you want to go have a look at that, that's mysticlovetarot.com www.mysticlovetarot.com and the other thing I need to tell you is my turnaround time is down okay so uh, for private readings the turnaround time is down and it's at the lowest it is since I started the channel because the whole the whole of England is still on lockdown even though we're kind of trying to they're trying to lift the restrictions a little bit but um, all I am doing is working at the moment so if you wanted to book a reading with the lowest turnaround time now is now is the time to do it okay deck number one and deck number two okay so what would your person like to say to you so what i need you to do is think about your person so as you're thinking about your person i really want you to feel it building up in your heart energy and as it's building up in your heart energy if you can just kind of visualize or feel it pushing into the deck that you are most drawn to number one and number two okay that's great that's just got really weighted okay Cool, let's do this. So as said above, as said above, <laughs> this regards, as I said before, it works on the strongest mutual energy between you all, regardless of your individual circumstances um, and what you guys are going through. It's gonna just pull, go into all your energies, go into all your people's energies and pull out the strongest mutual energy between you all. Debt number one's energy. Okay, think about your person for me. Can we get into the collective energy of their people, link their energies into their people's energies? Phenomenal. Okay, let's do their people's thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, and thought processes, and all possibilities, probabilities, choices, chances, and changes of their people. Uh, so the first thing that's coming into my right ear, the first song that we're kind of getting, um, is a song for you, for you guys, really. Um, rather than your people's energy, it's coming through your right, my right ear, which is suggesting that it's gonna be for you lot watching. So what we're getting is, I don't know if you remember this one, but Chumba Wumba from the 90s, I get knocked down, but I get up again, and you're never gonna bring me down. Now that's coming into your guys' energy, because even though you're wavering up and down and feeling okay, and then feeling crappy again, um, even though you can sometimes feel like you're really at the end of your tether, you will always pick yourself back up and you are wavering. You're going through days where you're feeling really good and days when you're feeling really crappy. Um, but that energy of that wavering, getting knocked down and getting back up again, you're really building your strength at this moment in time. And your person, the spirit is saying to me, my guide is saying to me, that your person is fully aware of that. So they can see you in a much stronger position and a much stronger standpoint than perhaps you have been in the past. Okay. Can you tell me what it is that their person would like to say to them? What would their person like to say to them that they don't know about? Interesting. This is cool. How many do you want? Okay, we're going to do nine again. What would their person like to say to them? Ooh, fell on the mic. What would their person like to say to them? If there was just like a, a thing over the sound, it's because it fell on the mic. What would their person like to say to them? Six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so the uh, the higher kind of selves of your people as a whole, okay? So there's a kind of, everyone has a higher self. You know, uh, as a universe, we work with multi-dimensions. You know, we, we are the third dimension. There's other dimensions beyond us. Um, and there is a very clear connection to the fifth dimension happening here, but from your fifth dimension of your people, okay? So not spirit, um, not the universe, the collective kind of energy of your people, which is quite interesting, really. Um, and what they're saying is that they, they are wanting to build, okay? There's a time 
time of reflection happening. There's a time of needing to build, establishing um, the connection in a stronger light. And if they're having time out away from the situation, it's because they're trying to build a solid foundation for the future. Now that might sound a little bit contradictory with what you guys are facing on an earthly level. Um, but what they want you to know is if they wanted to, if they were gonna build perhaps this relationship now, the foundation that you guys would be building on would be kind of on a quicksand basis, okay? So perhaps that you'd be trying to build your foundation up with your person and there would be a lot of sinking energy going on. Uh, perhaps it's not the right time or circumstances are dictating why you are where you are or your person's just generally being a bit of a, an idiot. Um, so they're saying that if they, they need this kind of time away or time out or downtime or um, even if you guys are in communication and you're talking to each other, if they're starting to withdraw or just generally kind of getting on your wick, what they're talking about is they're having that time out, that space to really reflect on things, okay? And that period of reflection um, is so that they can actually build a, st a stable foundation, you know, building their house on the house that they would have with you, building it on a solid ground rather than on quicksand. And I just got that song um, that was at my niece's christening. Um, it's a song from the, the, the Bible, uh, the biblical stuff. But it's a, uh, the talk about, I can't actually remember the lyrics, but I remember doing all the hand actions, how um, the man built his hand, his house on a uh, rock and one built his house on the cliff or something or other. I don't remember the specifics. And the rain came down and the rain came down. I remember doing that. And the floods came up and the floods came up. Um, and then one house kind of fell apart and one house stayed together. And this is what essentially they're saying is that if, at the moment it's probably not going at the speed that you guys would like to like it to it's because they're wanting to build this on a more stable foundation so that you guys can grow um grow together you know what would they like to say to you oh okay so essentially that is what is happening with you guys and your person so at the moment potentially a bit of time out happening as a majority of your collective energy to reflect to work out what they want and to then come back and offer you this more stable beginning, this more grounded stability uh, than perhaps they have done before. Now, in this time that's happening, your person is actually very upset about the situation. Uh, they would say to you that they are feeling very low, very sad, and even if they feel like they've shut the door on you, they would want you to know that that door isn't 100% shut, okay? It's still on a hinge, Spirit is saying, and I can just see clairvoyantly the door kind of wavering in the wind up and down, open and, and closing. So they haven't completely shut the door on you, okay? They are also grieving this situation and they would, they would want you to know that. So if you think that they're getting on with life and everything is great and everything is perfect, that is not the case. They are feeling very, very sad about what's happened. They are also, what Watching your social media like a hawk okay so if you guys have social media they really will be tapping in tuning in and turning on and watching everything that you are up to just keeping tabs on you just to see what's happening in your life see if you are kind of moved away from them if you're getting on with your life or if um, or if you are still sitting there crying and, and being upset about the situation. Now, as time has kind of progressed with your people, um, so you're not, the majority of you aren't at the very start of your towers happening and things like that. Some of you are, but the majority of you aren't. Um, but those that, you know, even if you are at the start, the towers are kind of hitting. But as time is progressing with that Chumba Wumba song at the very start, you lot watching are starting to feel better about the situation. And in normal uh, universal laws, when you start to feel better about the situation, you release it, and when you release it, your person then can pick, gather speed and momentum into realizing that they um, want to be with you or that they've made a really big mistake. And essentially, that is happening here with the majority of you, and if it isn't happening yet, it is going to be happening, okay? So they're feeling very sad, feeling very low, um, very upset about what's actually happened, really reflecting on it, realizing that perhaps they've made the mistakes. And now in this period of reflection, um, seeing you that you're doing okay, that you're starting to feel better about life and where your life is going. And with that, then wanting to build a solid foundation with you, okay? So very much a time of reflection. Now with Venus in retrograde as well, this is gonna be a time where a few of your old lovers come back. So if you guys aren't in communication, this period of Venus in retrograde, which is till June the 25th, with Venus in retrograde, um, it's gonna be a time that your people start making movement back to you.
Your person is not over the situation, okay? They are still clinging on to it. They still have hope that it is gonna work out between you and them. Um, and there is definitely this kind of unconditional love energy coming forward. Now, there's also a sexual energy between you both. We can't dispute that. Uh, very strong sexual energy, but also a very strong emotional energy. Now, your people, if you guys aren't in contact, they are haven't just switched off to it. They are still thinking about you. They're also thinking about you in a kind of sexual way. Um, but that energy is very strongly there, okay? Uh, so the door isn't completely shut on you. Now they are having a bit of a break from it, as we said, taking their time out to reflect on it all, um, thinking what they should be doing, thinking that, oh my God, I've made the wrong mistake, I, I made a mistake, I did the wrong thing, I handled the situation really badly. Um, having a very strong amount of down, downtime from it, but in this downtime, this is where the awakening will happen. Um, Spirit are saying that it's very hard for people to awaken when the, the, con the situation is kind of still around them, okay? So when the situation is there, um, it's hard for people to wake up. It's only when we lose things that we realize um, how much we actually want them, and that is what is happening with your person. They are still kind of in this potentially single energy or just focusing on themselves energy, uh, being a little bit selfish with regard to where they are. And even if you're third party, it's still the same energy, okay? They're still reflecting on it. Um, they can see that there's a future between you guys and there is a road that they need to take to get to you. Um, but at the moment, it's kind of like, well, I'm just gonna sit here and I'm gonna think about it. I'm gonna keep the door kind of open, let it waver in the wind. And um, at some point in the future, I will gonna do something. And with that, you have this offer coming in of a more stable, grounding future between you and your person, okay? So they'd want you to know all of that. They'd say to you that they are really upset by the situation, that perhaps this time out, they are having, sorry, in this time out, they're having a period of reflection, that they want this time out to really build know what they want so that they can build a stable foundation with you and perhaps if they you guys came together too soon it wouldn't work out so they're really having time to reflect on it again even if you're in contact time to reflect on it having downtime from the situation to then come towards you with some kind of grounding and offer of stability so this downtime is going to be doing you guys a big favor okay i know it's hard for you um but the unconditional love that you guys share is very very strong if you can try Try to focus on the unconditional love that you guys have rather than the um, perhaps the lower frequencies that are going on in the world right now. It's very easy right now, with, especially on a universal level, to, to find yourself in a lower frequency, to find that people are lying or being deceptive or that you know people aren't particularly being very nice. Um, so if you are finding yourself being dragged into that lower frequency, just try to focus on the unconditional love and it will bring your energies back up with your person. Okay, so period of rest. Now, the next side of things that we're coming forward is a little bit of tips and tricks and advice for you. Um, this is talking about you guys being in a very powerful frequency at the moment. And again, with that Chumbawamba song, when you're in this powerful frequency, it would be quite a good time for you guys to manifest. Now, manifesting doesn't ever go against free will what happens is we kind of have vortexes going around us and our vortex of what you want and your vortex of what your person wants. Now, when you guys are in alignment and you're on that higher frequency, what your person wants and what you want will both be in your vortex if it can bring you guys together. There is no impact on free will when it comes to manifesting. It's really important you know that. Um, so you guys can manifest the situation coming forward. When I first started the channel, I did a, manifesta a manifestation video um, and that is linked in all the public descriptions. So if you want to go and watch that, that will be uh, give you some tips and tricks. I can't even remember what I was saying there. It was that long ago. But I also do now tailored manifesting plans. Uh, I've kind of run them from the start, but now it's on the website like properly. Um, so if you want a manifesting plan doing, each manifesting plan is tailored to you and your specific needs, not one manifesting plan is the same as the next. You tell us what it is, us being me and my guides, you tell us what it is that you want. We give you the tools and techniques to get what you want from the situation, okay? And from there, with your manifesting on top, so your person will have this time out, this period of reflection, really realizing what they want, coming towards you with an offer of stability, you can help it along the way by manifesting the situation, and from there you have a new beginning, okay? This is gonna be a more kind of passionate new beginning that you're both gonna be living your passions, uh, but there is this kind of definite communion spirit of saying, communion, reunion, and a coming together. It's gonna be a much more 
confident coming together. It's going to be a lot more stable footed, as we're saying, building that foundation on the stable ground rather than the quicksand. And it's really going to be beneficial to you guys um, because at the moment, with your person being a bit of an idiot and with circumstances dictating otherwise, it is gonna it would be very, very complicated. Um, but know that they are thinking about you, that they do deeply care about you, that they haven't shut the door on this, okay? They would want you to know that, that this door is still open. And even if they've said to you, I am done, it's over, I don't want nothing more to do with you, they will come back, okay? They cannot hold it. The love for you is so strong. The unconditional love is really strong. Um, and with that, there is no place for them to hide, spirit are saying. So yes, a period of downtime, a period of them reflecting on the situation, but then an offer coming through which is based on the unconditional love that you guys have and the stability and the security still clinging on the door isn't completely shut the door is still wavering in and out um, they are knowing more of what they want they're really feeling this period of grieving and as you guys are starting to feel better they are really starting to feel very low frequency very sad feeling that they really did make a mess up on it through that watching your social media really checking in on you seeing what you're up to seeing what's going on having this break away from it through that break they're going to really um get their heads together make solid movement towards you, making an offering of stability, of security, of romantic new beginnings, but also with a sense of kind of sexual energy kind of going on, um, to offer you a new beginning and you can help it along the way in manifesting. That's just a little side note for you, okay? Your high priestess and magician. You can bring the magic into this relationship. Universal magic. You can bring it into your relationship. So, yeah, what they'd like to say to you is, I'm very, very sad. I feel very low. I haven't shut the door on us completely. I'm still clinging on to the situation. I'm watching you on social media quite a lot. I might be having a break, uh, essentially, physically from you but mentally i haven't stepped away from it um, i'm going to come towards you with some kind of offer in the near future i just need a bit of time out from it so i can really focus on what it is that i want i can then come towards you giving you stable grounding for a more stable future and you can help me along the way by using the universal energies to really maybe perhaps gain some clarity do some manifesting on, on you gaining clarity over the situation and ask it to echo onto your person so they can feel the benefits of it as well you know it doesn't have to be all about the long-term goals sometimes it's important that we break it down into the little manifestation bits clarity gaining trust, you know, building that foundation so the rain doesn't come down and the floods don't come up, building that stability. And that is why at the moment you're having a bit of a strain with it all. But you guys are doing absolutely phenomenal, my guide is saying. Venus retrograde is going to turn your emotions completely upside down in a way. You're going to feel as if you're wavering in and out or feeling really good and really crap. But overall, your energy is at a higher frequency. And through that higher frequency, you can surrender. And through that surrendering, your person is going to come back or just up their game with you. If you guys are still talking, they'll up their game. Uh, okay, yeah, that's deck number one. Okay, having a breather. And then we're going to do deck number two. Okay, beauties, deck number two. Okay, so as this as we normally work, it works on the strongest mutual energy between you all, going into all your energy, going into all your people's energy and pulling out the strongest mutual energy. And this time what we're focusing on is what would they like to say to you. Um, I've updated the website if you guys want to have a look and my turnaround time is... Uh, is down because at the moment we're on lockdown and all I'm doing is working. So if you want a reading, it's the lowest it's been since I started the channel. So um, it will go back up the more, the more, <laughs> when lockdowns really starts easing. But at the moment, I like what, you know, I love reading anyway. So I'm just spending the days reading. Okay. Think about your person for me. Can we get into that person's mutual energy? That's phenomenal. Thank you. Okay. Right, I've never heard this song in my life, but it's coming through my right ear again. This is, um, when it comes through my right ear, it's largely for the feminine energies. When it comes from my left ear, it's largely for the masculine energies. When we're working with messages directly to you, and this is coming through my right ear. Now, what I've got over here is, I don't know, God, this is a really old film from the 90s. What was it? American Tale with the Mice. 
okay and in the, in that in that american tale there's a song that says somewhere out there beyond the something sky we'll be together uh, i can't remember the ins and outs of it i was a very young child when i watched it but i can see the mouse sitting and looking at the moon and um, so go and have a look american tales somewhere out there that's very clearly coming through your energy um and your spirit saying and your people's energy as well it's coming as a message for you guys but it's coming for your people's energy so it's essentially what they would like to say to you so you'll have to go and have a listen to the words i really can't remember them i can just hear somewhere oh no i can't sing somewhere out there <laughs> okay can you tell me what would that person like to say to them so we're going to do nine cards as we've done with deck number one oh well okay one two three what would they like to say four what would they like to say to their people watching five six You know, the amount of time that my decks fall on the floor, what falls to the floor comes to your door. The amount of times these decks collapse on me and fall on the floor. And one more, please. What would they like to say to you? Okay. Okie dokie. So your person has been a little bit non-committal towards you. Now... There are a multitude of reasons why this is the case. So as your collective energy, there's multiple reasons why your person hasn't given you that commitment that you require. At the moment, um, the majority of it is going to be circumstances, but the other side of it is perhaps they're a little bit unsure on what um, they want from the situation. Now, it doesn't mean that they don't like you. It doesn't mean that they haven't got strong emotions towards you. But what it does mean is that perhaps, you know, um, it can be a bit too intense for them, or it can be a bit too, they can sometimes feel a little bit smothered and backed into a corner with it, okay? Um, so whilst that's happening, your person is really playing a bugger, playing buggers really, um, and not giving you what it is that you want. Now, they can see that you wanna be with them, they can see that you wanna charge ahead with it all, but at the moment, your person's really kind of uh, staying stationary and not doing anything about the situation, which is uh, infuriating you guys. Potentially quite a strong sexual energy coming forward, so maybe uh, some of you guys, it is more of a friends with benefits situation and you're there wanting that commitment from them. And so they would want you to know at this moment in time that they, they haven't given you that level of commitment because of their individual circumstances or because they're feeling backed into a corner um, they do really like you and they would want you to know that they do really like you but at the moment you, they're saying okay I'm not ready to commit to you okay now that's not a negative you just need an awareness of it don't throw um, any kind of emotions on that just an acknowledgement be aware of what this is saying um, you don't need to feel really bogged down and deep into that energy and feeling sad about it you just need to be aware of it okay because we're going to show you how to move forward from this so little bit non-committal potentially they've walked away from the situation or you have walked away from the situation because um of this because they haven't given you what it is that you want you guys have walked away from the situation or they have walked away from the situation because you want more than what they can give you now their emotions for you are extremely strong they do really deeply care for you and they do love you and they do actually, in a sense, want to communicate that to you. So even though they've been in this kind of very strong, fiery, feisty energy, especially with the moon being in Scorpio last week, they've been like, okay, I'm going to live my life, I'm going to do what's right by me. At the back of their mind, you are still there and this need to communicate with you about how they are feeling and what's been going on, okay? They want to be open and honest with you about the situation. Sometimes when they've tried to communicate with you, they've sugarcoated it a little bit, which has left you guys thinking, wait, what are you actually saying? What do you actually mean from this? Spirit is saying to me, can you, um, can you tell them? <laughs> That's what they're saying. Can you tell them not to add two and two and make 20, okay? Try not to get the jigsaw pieces to fit just because your person hasn't communicated with you what they want or what, what they have, what they don't want, okay? So if they've kind of just said to you, well, I don't want to commit to you and you don't know the reasons why, try not to put the jigsaw pieces together, all right? 
there will come a time when your person is going to open up to you. And when that time that they do open up to you and they do start talking about emotions, that's when you guys can start working towards the next chapter. But this is where you are at this moment in time, all right? Non-commitment, potentially walking away from a situation, distance, distance, physical distance, potentially with the world being how it is, or emotional distance from you, all right? So again, just being aware of it, having an awareness of that. That's all you need to do is just have an awareness of it. Now from there, um, we have got this kind of longer term goal of you guys coming together. Now you do both want the same things. Now even if your person hasn't committed to you right now, later down the line, they are gonna be saying to you, I want the same things as you. I will want to be either in a relationship or see where this goes, um, but at the moment, I'm not quite there yet, all right? So they would they want to be with you in the longer term, but we're not quite at the longer term. You're at point A at the moment, you wanna to get to point C with your person, and that means you've got to go through point B. Some of you are going through point B, um, but point C is you guys kind of coming together. Now it's really important with this that we kind of really balance the masculine and feminine energies out. With the two horses, the black and white, yin and yang, light and dark, good and bad, we really are going through, and with the universal energies, we're really going through a time of duality, okay? Really, um, trusting our inner judgments, trusting the process, trusting in the universe, trusting in what we feel um, the universe is going to bring to us. And it's important that you stand in that feminine energy, okay? Uh, never sexually orientated or gender specific on this channel, but please remember that um, when it comes to tarot, you have masculine and feminine. When it comes to universe, you have masculine and feminine. Um, so this is talking about your feminine energy. So the majority of you watching will be the female, okay? So really trusting your inner judgments, trust your female energy there is um, a need for these kind of new beginnings to happen with you and your person and they are fully aware of that as well they do want the same thing as you in the longer term but you're both going about it very different ways which has potentially led to this non-commitment and walking away from the situation so they'd want you to know that they do see that there is a future between you both um, but at the moment they're kind of just playing silly buggers and not reacting to this in the best way okay not handling it very well but wanting the longer term goals really paying attention to your own tuition trying not to get too swamped by your emotions and as spirit said earlier not adding pieces of the jigsaw or making two and two and making 10 or 20 okay trying to not get too swamped down by your emotions now with this uh, i just had a clairvoyant image when i looked at this and in aladdin um when jafar throws him off the balcony and he goes into the water and he's feeling like he's drowning the genie comes along and says wish to make you know let me go i wish that you release me or get me out of the water. I can't even remember the specifics of it. Um, but what this is saying is even if you feel like you're drowning, the universe is still back in your corner, okay? The universe has got your back. So really trust your own intuition on it. We still have the light and dark energies going on here, the duality, and in the middle of it, you have your new beginning with your person. So even if you're feeling that you're drowning in these emotions at the moment, your new beginning is in the background, okay? It's already there, it's ready to come towards you and your longer term objective of you guys being together. Spirit is saying to tell you, remember it's not about the destination, it's about the journey. And this very much is a, a strong journey, likely to be twin flames for a lot of you or higher vibrational soulmates, okay? Um, sometimes as you know, with twin flames we still have karmic energy with people. Um, the reason why is twin flames live multiple lifetimes together, so even if you are twin flames, and you you won't you won't be karmic you won't have a karmic connection but you will have karma. We do do past life readings, so if you wanted to look at clearing the karma on that, go and have a look on the website. I put it all up there. Finally, put it all up there. Okay. That your person knows that the cycle that you guys are being involved in has got to come to some kind of close for a new chapter to begin. Um, with the sexual energy in the background as well, what they want to be doing um, is they want to be following their passions with you, okay? So if you've been intimate with them, please know that they haven't had that kind of intimacy with anyone else. I have to make you aware of that. Um, but at the background, what they're gonna be doing is they're gonna be gathering their strength to cope with the situation. Kind of cope is the wrong word, um, but deal with the situation. At the moment, they're finding it very overwhelming, too much, too intense, um, but that love runs deep, as does the passionate energy, which is gonna be this kind of twin flame connection. Now, with these twin flame connections, it's, um, I just got tainted love. Um, it can be that, your passions are so strong with each other that 
arguments come out of nowhere that when you do argue it really is a, a, a passion of you know things flying everywhere arguments hitting it's a it's a tornado and a volcano meeting in the middle creating this massive explosion okay and sometimes you and your person do need these explosions because once these explosions happen you get to make up with them and again sexual energy kind of coming forward there so they know that the cycle that you guys are involved in has got to come to some kind of close because at the moment they're not giving you what you want and they are fully aware of that they do know what you want they do know that you want to be with them so if you're worrying that um, they don't have an idea of what it is that they actually want they know they want to be with you but at the moment they aren't ready to commit so this is kind of going at their speed and at their timing which is frustrating to you guys but it is important that and I hate this word it's one of the <laughs> words that really bugs me but it's important that you guys are kind of patient with the situation you have to be patient with your person but you have to be patient with the situation okay they're not quite at that point that they want they're ready to commit but with you kind of having this longer term objective with them once you you kind of got yourself out of this deep sad emotional water when you're feeling like you're kind of drowning in it all when you're feeling that you are giving up on the circumstances and you're giving up on this situation that is when um it looks like it's going to be coming back round towards you and you have this kind of new offer coming in of love now some of you guys watching are going to have decided to walk away from this situation and have decided that you're going to see who else is available so if that's the case you guys uh, are likely to be getting new lovers even if you do get new lovers what will happen is your person will still come back to you so again it's not done and dusted they will still come towards you and open the door and say okay what's going on how are you and um, kind of maybe keeping it as friends or um, again not giving you that level of commitment but they will come back to check on you and see what you are doing um, very much emotional new energy coming forward okay but your person is going to want to be with you so your circumstances at the moment yeah they're not great they're very sad they're very drained they're very low they're very heavy um, but your person does love you okay they do love you they just haven't given you what it is that you want from the situation so they would tell you that they would tell you that um i love you i'm sorry if i've been a bit of an asshole um i'm not quite ready to commit to you at the moment and this is specifically the reason why they'd say um i can see that we have a longer term future together we both know what we want i'm handling it in not the best way um but i know that i want to be with you in the longer term so please just kind of be patient with me with regard to you, they would say, um, you're kind of drowning and swamped with the emotions that's happening for me at this moment in time. Again, we, we have got a future of a new beginning, so try not to get too bogged down with the energy that's currently there. Knowing that the cycle between you guys has got to come to a close and they are getting ready uh, to break that cycle, to break the wheel, as the Khaleesi would say, ready to break the wheel, break the chain, to give you the next level um, of commitment that it is that you want. Now, if you've had enough of it, they've got this fear that you guys are going to move on. Um, and when that fear really kicks in, this is when this kind of level of commitment is gonna come back to you. So either you guys will move on, that's completely your preference, or you will stay and see what happens with your person. But either way, even if you do move on, your person is still gonna come back to you. So you can perhaps just put them on the shelf for the time being, focus on yourself, focus on what you want, start reaching your goals, your objectives. The more you surrender and release, the more this is gonna come your way. Cycle is gonna break, and they're gonna be giving you more commitment than perhaps they have before okay knowing this card is, is brilliant knowing that they want to be with you knowing that this is a there is a strong um basis for you two to be together you know loving you they do love you they, they won't let you wander far okay so even if they've walked away from the situation or you guys have walked away from the situation they won't let you wander that far they won't let you go that easily um they might be really silent on with you, but they will still be thinking about you. It's not over with you guys, okay? And they can see a future, a really strong future between you both. They've just got to get out of this non-commitment age, uh, non-committal energy, okay? And that is deck number two. Just remember that they do love you, okay? And they can see that you guys will be together. They can see it very strongly. And there's that level of communication that needs to happen between you and them. And they're aware of that as well. This is a more spiritual connection. 
a more divine connection and these divine connections are never easy but they are worth it okay um so just remember all of that remember that they love you um they've just been a bit bit shady with this as well just looking at this card just one more message for you um i just got a song by i know a lot of you won't like metal i'm a bit of a metal head at heart um kill switch engage okay my curse this song this card is really reminding me of kill switch engage my curse now if even if you don't like the music go and have a look at the lyrics okay because it's talking about this is my curse the longing the yearning time okay um it's a really beautiful song i love that song um, I've, I've seen Kill Switch engaged like three or four times, they're brilliant, they're brilliant. Um, but if you don't like metal, just go and have a look at the lyrics instead. Um, this is where your person's energy is, they aren't going to break away from this cycle easily, okay? Perhaps you guys do view it sometimes as a bit of a curse, but really underneath the curse there is the blessing, there's lessons that have got to be learned with your person and it's lovely that you guys are learning them with your person, okay? So the lessons that you're going through, there is still a love that is deep rooted within you all so even though you're going through the lessons and going through the hardships and going through the crap with them the love underneath it all is extremely strong okay um and so that song if you go and listen to the words even if you can see it if you feel it's a negative energy and it's a negative mic a curse if you're feeling that way there is a blessing underneath it all but you guys are going to be doing the soul searching to find that out okay and that is deck number two so if you need me um i'll put all the details in the description turnaround time is down on readings to seven to 14 days lower since i started the channel because all i'm doing is working um i've updated the website go and have a look at it ride the emotions out of venus retrograde uh, you might find that it's a bit uh, up and down like a yo-yo um but just ride through those emotions allow allow um, and if you're having a shit day remember it's okay to feel like shit you know that's okay you don't have to fight it um and this is the time in venus retrograde that your old lovers start to resurface so just be aware of that as well okay my angels i will speak to you next week have a good one lots of love bye